Be sure to check for the latest software on our website at www.avermedia-usa.com slash presentations just to make sure that you have the latest software available. I think you're absolutely going to love the included software, not only because it's free, but because you can do so much fun stuff with it. You see, our software is complementary to an interactive whiteboard. For example, we have made the control palette buttons large, bright, and colorful, so it's easier to press and control with your hand. So the next time you're using an interactive whiteboard, go ahead and use those large, bright buttons so you can see just how easy it really is to use. And your AF Plus also comes complete with all software and drivers for both PC and Mac. And this new software allows you to control your AF Plus from your computer, capture images to your computer, record live video with audio, and make those on-screen annotations. Now for more detailed instructions on connecting your AF Plus to an interactive whiteboard, visit our Connecting Your 300 AF Plus to an Interactive Whiteboard section. To install the software, first insert the disk into your computer's CD drive. Follow the prompts and you will be ready to go in minutes. Once installed, connect the included USB cable to your 300 AF Plus and to your computer. Double click on the AverVision software icon and the application will open. Below the camera image window, you will see your control palette docked to the window. There are two rows of control buttons. They include the document camera settings, where you can control all the features and functions of the AverVision 300 AF+. There is also the recording selection, where you can record live video with audio if you have a microphone connected to your computer. When you click on this icon, select your desired saving location. There is also the capture icon that allows you to capture images and or objects of your choice. Simply click the button and your captured image will appear in a separate window. Next is the gallery, which allows you to play back your captured images and videos. Simply click on this icon and navigate to the location of your saved file. Now you can play back your file. You can also click the printer icon to send your image directly to the printer. And your settings icon allows you to adjust your recording resolution, continuous image capture interval, and default location to save your files. Now, moving on to the second row where you can find all your annotation tools. These are some great tools where your students can express all sorts of creativity. You can use the freehand drawing icon to annotate your images. You can also use your line drawing tool to create more structured and straight lines. You can also create some shapes such as rectangles and ellipses. This is great to illustrate geometric equations or even enhance those basic motor skills. What's great is for all of these annotation tools, 
you can select the line width, color, and even the fill color for your shapes. You can even make your colors semi-transparent as well as solid. Like I said, it is a place where your students can really make learning fun. Moving on to your text icon, you can control the font color, style, and size and display your text anywhere on your image. You also have your select and paste icon that allows you to select an area and paste it into another editing or drawing program, such as Adobe Photoshop or Microsoft Word. And of course, your eraser, which allows you to erase any mistake or unwanted text, image, design, or etc. Now that you know all about the control palette, you should also know that you can enlarge your image window to be full sized. To do so, simply double click on the title bar at the top of the window. To get out of the full screen, simply press the escape button or move your mouse to the upper right corner until you see the resize button. To hide your control palette, click on the arrow to the left of the palette and your palette will be hidden.